Hey guys! Today we're painting Dory. I'm going to be using OPI Gel Color and Artist Series Design Gels. Start with base coat, one thin coat, cap the free edge, all five fingers cure for 30 seconds. Using OPI I Just Can't Copacabana, do you see what I see? And be there in a Prosecco, create your design scape. Do two coats, curing for 30 seconds each. To make the sand a little more realistic, I sponged on some Did You Ear About Van Gogh. And I always like to start off my characters by drawing them first in pencil. This helps me get all the sizes and dimensions just right before I actually start painting. For Dory, I'm going to fill her in with a little bit of The Time is White by OPI Artist Series Design Gels. to give a nice base for my colors going forward. The OPI Artist Series Design Gels are a thinner viscosity than the gel color, so you can do this with your gel color as well. But the thinner viscosity allows for just a thinner application. It has more pigment in the paint, so you uh, less is more. I'm using a striper-like brush just because I like to get that really fine detail line around the edges. I cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm going to start with my colors. Using Do You See What I See, I'm going to fill in most of the main blue area of Dory. This is where I also start to outline where her eyes will be, where her mouth will be. And what's really great about painting with gel polish and the Artist Series Design Gels is that if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off, perfect it. So I cured that for 30 seconds, and now I'm using the Artist Series uh, Time is White, The Time is White, I'm Tealing on You, and Sunny Disposition, and I'm mixing them together until I get the desired shade of teal that I want. This is gonna highlight Dory's face. So using a small brush, I'm using the highlight color on her brows and down her nose. And around her mouth. I am looking at a picture of Dory for reference as I do this. It helps me get all the right colors in the right spots. So I cured for 30 seconds and now I'm using Blue Per Real, which is just a darker blue and I mixed it in with the I'm Tealing On You just to give it a little bit of lightness to it. It also helps keep your color palette cohesive. And I'm gonna go around I'm going to outline her eyes. As I go, I flash cure for 10 to 15 seconds. When I get something just the way I want it, I want to keep it there. Now I'm using Sunny Disposition for her tail. And now I've mixed Tari Tari Night into the blooper reel, and I'm going to start doing some of the darker color on her, which can look a little black uh, in some lights, but I wanted, I mixed it in with the blue so that it wasn't a pure black. Again, this helps keep the look cohesive.
As you can see, I wipe my brush onto my palette after I get the color on it to make sure I get a small amount of paint on the brush. Helps me create those really fine lines. Using Rated V for Violet, I'm going to do Baby Dory's Purple Eyes. I'm going to accent it with Fairy the Hatchet just to give it a little depth. And then I'm going to go in with the Time is White for little white lines. Add the black for her pupils, cure for 30 seconds, white highlights, and I cured that for 30 seconds and now top coat and cured for 30 seconds again. And this is the final result. How cute is that? I hope you give it a try. Have fun!